This year, humanity got its clearest look yet at the universe. Astronomers carried out a first in planetary defense, and NASA launched a new chapter in interstellar exploration. CBS News senior national correspondent Mark Strassman takes a look at the small steps and the giant leaps in space. When you're talking about this year's space highlights, you're talking about moments that were out of this world in a couple of senses. Fortunately, 2022 had a lot of those moments to pick from. A year when the universe of possibilities kept expanding and gave us lots to be excited about. My top space highlight from this year was the Artemis 1 mission. Why? Because it put America back into the moonshot business and the deep space business. Artemis 1 was an uncrewed test flight around the moon and back. The SLS rocket that launched it through Earth's atmosphere was the most powerful one NASA has ever built. But getting to launch meant pushing through other obstacles too. Years of delays, billions in cost overruns, and launch delays for a variety of reasons that almost gave the sense this mission was star-crossed. But what a success in the end. A 1.4 million mile round trip with a splash down in the Pacific off the coast of Southern California. Here's what that means going forward. Artemis II, scheduled for 2024, will be a repeat test flight of Artemis I, except with a crew aboard. They'll do a flyby of the moon, come tantalizingly close without actually landing on the lunar surface. NASA hopes Artemis III, sometime before the end of the decade, will have Americans moonwalking again. The ultimate goal, use the moon as a launching pad for deeper space, especially a Mars landing. 2022's second space highlight was the James Webb Deep Space Telescope, the one that even now is sending back stunning pictures of the universe. This $10 billion telescope, the most expensive space instrument ever built, is an engineering marvel. Its gold-plated mirrors had to be folded like origami or an elaborate parachute to fit inside the rocket and then unfold by remote control once it reached a distance of one million miles from Earth. Its unfolded mirror, six times larger than the Hubble's, 100 times more powerful. Its first wave of pictures just jaw-dropping, showing us the first generation of galaxies and stars and planets, some of the very first light that flashed when the universe formed more than 13 billion years ago. And from these pictures, scientists hope to discover other potentially habitable planets and answer the deep questions from deep space, including how the universe first formed and are there signs of other life out there? You'll see more photos from the web for the next 20 years. For space highlight number three, I'd go with the Axe 1 mission back in April. The first time NASA has allowed a commercially operated crewed flight of civilians to reach the International Space Station. Three millionaires, an American, a Canadian, and an Israeli, reportedly paid around $55 million apiece for the chance to spend about a week in orbit on the ISS. Why this matters? It shows how quickly this new era of commercial space is changing and evolving. From quick up and quick down trips to the edge of space with companies like Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic, to more elaborate trips like this one, space tourists living and working for a week alongside professional astronauts in low Earth orbit about 260 miles above the planet. And sure, for now, space tourism is mostly a bucket list trip for people who have a lot of bank. But everyone involved says it's only a matter of time before these costs come down and space access becomes more democratic, more possible for more people. The question is, how far will the prices come down and how soon? Next year is going to have its own share of space highlights, including the first all-civilian crew to orbit the Earth, including a civilian spacewalk, and separately, a mission all-civilian that will include a flyby of the moon. So whether you're a space geek or not, and Vlad and Emery, I know that you really do like this stuff, all of this essentially changes our world in this way. When we look up at the stars at night, we definitely see them differently.